This morning in Going Places, Ireland is rolling out the green carpet for American visitors, and they've recently lifted a lot of their COVID restrictions and are ready to welcome travelers back to the Emerald Isle. Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier joins us live from Dublin Castle. Good morning, Gabe. Hello, Will. Great to see you. Check out this green carpet, huh? It's pretty good. It is, in fact, rolled out. And I am at Dublin Castle. Beautiful uh, tourist attraction here in the heart of Dublin. Date expected 1204. And that's what we love, right? That history, uh, very much alive around us when we come to, to Ireland. But yeah, COVID restrictions have been dropped, and that's, uh, that's good news for everybody. Look, it looks absolutely spectacular there, and everybody I know who goes to Ireland absolutely loves it. So what is it like being in Ireland right now, and what should travelers know? Well, listen, the influx of international travelers has begun. I'm actually, I've just saw a couple of uh, walking tours end, and I'm hearing people from the States, from Spain, from all over Europe. Uh, if, first of all, you should know, if you are a fully vaccinated American traveler, no need for a negative COVID test, no need for quarantining. So that is, uh, that's what's happened here in the last uh, probably couple of weeks, uh, and that's making it just that much easier to come in. I am carrying around, Will, my CDC card, so this is necessary. You want to have this handy when you come in. Don't laminate it. You want to just have it ready to roll here. Uh, Europeans are, are using a uh, system that uses a QR code that where they're scanning if you if you go into a pub now and they're at 100% capacity indoors but they will check your CDC card or if you're a European uh, traveler uh, that QR code but yeah easier restrictions means that now the influx has begun and we're seeing the demand now ramp up pretty nicely as we head toward uh, next year by the time we get to 2022 will we're expecting the number of flights out of the US to equal what we saw in 2019 which is as you know fantastic news that means that we're going to continue to see airfare sales and a lot of promotions to get you out here to the Emerald Isle. You know, obviously there are so many travelers from the U.S. who travel to Ireland. So how important is that to the to the to the market there in Ireland? Huge. I mean, the fact of the matter is in 2019, check this out, 1.7 million Americans came here and spent $1.9 billion. And that represented more than 25 percent of the total international tourism revenue for for Ireland. So clearly it is a major, uh, you know, partner for the uh, tourism industry here. Also keep in mind, Will, especially in the Northeast, I mean, you have an amazing amount of Americans, close to 40 million who have, uh, who, you know, claim some degree of Irish heritage. So there is that emotional connection uh, to traveling out here as well. Uh, so that partnership, that sense of belonging is something that I think we're starting to see swell all over again and starting to drive some, 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 some nice numbers out here. I think summer of 2022, if you're looking to come out here for next summer, You've got to start planning now. We're starting to see the airfare sales already from airlines like United, Aer Lingus, American, uh, and we expect those to uh, be in place here for a couple of months before they start to go up. So planning now makes a lot of sense uh, if you're thinking about coming out here next year. All right, I've got some friends who are actually traveling there next week. So what uh, tips do you have for those looking to book a trip to Ireland and any must-see attractions there in Dublin, Ireland or Ireland right now? Yep. First of all, keep in mind that museums here in Ireland uh, are free. All right, so that's that's a boon. That's going to be probably in place for for a little while. They're making the access to these uh, cultural landmarks uh, very easy. Golfers flock here. More than a third of the uh, the uh, Lynx golf courses in the world are here in Ireland. The food tourism is fantastic. I'm loving the the uh, surging interest in film tourism. So I've been visiting some of these sites that have been used in films here in the last several years. Uh, in Trim, for example, uh, Trim Castle. You re recognize that from from Braveheart, of course. Uh, you can visit. They're doing these reenactments now, which is fantastic. Uh, yesterday I was in County Wicklow. I visited a place called Kilruttery House, 800 acre sprawling estate that you would have seen in a movie like My Left Foot or Far and Away with Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Um, and there was some film production going on there just yesterday. And then I visited the little town of Enniscary, uh, which is uh, going to be featured very prominently in Disenchanted uh, from Disney. That's the sequel coming out next year to Enchanted, which came out in 07. So uh, we're seeing, in fact, just announced a couple of days ago, uh, the country here is spending about $3.5 million in making sure that they've got crews in place over the next year to accommodate the demand in American film production, TV show production. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think depending on what your interest is, maybe it's genealogy, uh, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, those sweeping landscapes on the West Coast. You pick what you like. And you're going to find it uh, pretty accessible here. And the value factor, I think, especially over the next year, is going to be uh, it's going to be pretty good. Well, I can tell you, my Irish mother would be very happy if I booked a trip there. It looks so beautiful. Gabe, thanks so there much. There you go. Have a great time over there, and we'll be sure to share some of the details Gabe just shared on Roadshow.com.